We are continuing to talk about the general principles of what creates speed, and we are focusing still on minimizing drag. We're going to go over the third way that athletes tend to disrupt their alignment and create a lot of drag, is, which is when they breathe. So unfortunately, athletes are going to have to breathe in breaststroke, butterfly, and in freestyle. And when they do, they're necessarily going to disrupt their alignment because they're going to move from a horizontal position. They're going to come up at least slightly, and that's going to cause problems in terms of their alignment. And so the skill is not necessarily in eliminating drag, but it's minimizing it by keeping the breath as small as possible. We're going to go over what it looks like, some of the common errors athletes make, so that you can better see these in the swimmers that you coach. So we're going to start with freestyle here. And what you're looking for is you want athletes to breathe as low as possible, as straight as possible, and as fast as possible. And that way, it reduces the impact of drag. So as you watch here, if this athlete takes this breath, and they do it pretty straight, but if you think about their breath moving further to their right, that's going to shoot their hips out of alignment, and that's going to cause a lot of problems. Their shoulders are going to move out of alignment as well. And so that breath needs to be as straight as possible. This athlete's doing a good job staying low, but if that head comes up high, then that means the hips are going to go down, and so that's going to create more drag as well. So again, straight and then also low is what we're really looking for. And the third aspect is it needs to be fast too because the longer that it takes, then that means any errors that there are are just going to be magnified. So for any amount of drag that's induced by the breath, the longer it takes, the more drag you'll get. And so low, straight, fast. And this athlete's doing a very good job of that. So we'll take a look from overhead. I want you to watch the swimmer in the yellow lanes to the right, and we'll watch his breath. What you see, so he just took that breath, and you can see how the head's slightly to the right, and the hips are going to slide slightly out to the left. And this is within a, within a normal breath, but if it was magnified, you can see how that, that would pull the athlete even more out of alignment and cause more problems. And so, again, the, the, everything needs to stay low to keep the hips up, but it also needs to stay straight to keep everything in line. And again, the faster that that happens, the less drag that's going to be created. So low, straight, and fast, especially in freestyle. So now we'll take a look at it underwater, and you can see how that head's not moving up at all. The breath is really fast, and it's not pulling to the side. And so it's moving straight on the line, it's staying really low, and it's staying really fast. And as you can see, there's no corresponding change in the hip position, and that's what we're really looking for. So a breath that doesn't influence the body position because it's low, it's fast, and it's straight. And so that's what we're really looking for here in freestyle. And so when athletes can work towards that, it's going to help them be a lot more effective in reducing the amount of drag they create, and that's going to help them swim faster. Next, we'll take a look at breaststroke. So with every stroke, the athlete has to breathe, and they are necessarily going to come up out of the water. And what the athlete needs to do is make sure that it's not a purely vertical motion, that they're coming forwards, and that's going to prevent their hips from sinking in the water. And so you can see these athletes here, when they breathe, there's got to be an up motion, but it's always forward. It's not directly up, and that's going to help them keep their hips up at the surface. So if we watch breaststrokers underwater, what you'll see is if you watch the athlete on the left, He's breathing now, but his hip position hasn't really dropped. And so he's doing a really good job of breathing, but making sure that everything goes forwards so that he's not letting the hips dip when he takes that breath. And so that's what's really important here is athletes will have to breathe, but can they do so in a way that doesn't cause them to lose their alignment? So moving forwards with the breath, letting the hips stay up at the surface, that's going to be the key skill here. So in a longer race here, you can see hips stay up at the surface even when the athletes breathe, and that's going to be really key to maintaining their alignment. So the breath is forward versus directly up, and they do so in a way that keeps everything in line as opposed to letting the hips drop when they breathe. And so if athletes are struggling to do that, they're going to be creating a lot of drag, especially in breaststroke, where there's already a lot of drag in the stroke, and it's going to make the situation even worse. And so breathing can be a real challenge for for breaststrokers. And so not only do they need to keep it forward, they need to keep it appropriately low. And that's going to depend on the athlete. And more importantly, they need to get out of those positions fast because it is going to create a lot of drag, even when they're doing things really well. And so if they can minimize the impact of the breath, that's going to be really helpful for them as well. As with breaststroke, a similar thing is happening here in butterfly. 
When athletes need to breathe, they need to find a way to keep everything in line as much as possible. The head is necessarily going to come up, which is going to lead to the hips dropping. However, they can minimize that by one, accurately timing the kick here so you can see how to watch here. The kick is going to keep the hips up at the surface. Two, keep the breath low so the higher the head. You can see this is not necessarily a great position and this isn't a technical flaw. It's just this is the nature of the stroke. But the higher you get the head up when they breathe, the lower the hips are going to go. And one, that's going to create more drag. But two, they're going to have to have a better kick here to keep the hips up at the surface. And so that's the real challenge here with butterfly. Breathing low, breathing at the right time so that the kick can help keep the hips up at the surface. And then also getting the head down at an appropriate speed so that the athlete can minimize the time that they spend in that position, which is going to be causing a lot of drag. And so this is a pretty streamlined position, but as you can see, there's a little bit, there's going to be an arch in the back and that's gonna create some drag no matter how effective the athlete is at getting out of those positions. And so again, making sure that the breath is low and fast and then timing it well with the kick so that the hips can stay up at the surface as long as possible. This is a 200 type stroke here and you'll see the same thing. The athlete does a really good job of staying low when they breathe. You can kind of tell that the shoulders are just breaching the surface. The hips stay up at the surface pretty well, and this is probably the, the least best position, and it's still pretty horizontal in the water. So as much as possible, keeping the breath low and then timing it so that the kick can keep the hips up at the surface during the breath and then getting the head down relatively fast in order to ensure that that position is minimized so that the positions of maximal drag are minimized as much as possible. So again, the breath is barely coming out of the water. The kick is keeping the hips up at the surface and then the head's coming back down to the water pretty quickly and that's gonna make a big difference in terms of minimizing drag. So breathing is something that's going to have to happen in order to get the oxygen athletes need to be able to fuel their efforts. And if athletes can do that in a way that minimizes the amount of drag they create, and that's usually by breathing low, breathing fast, and in the case of freestyle, breathing straight, that's gonna help them minimize their drag. And so breathing is about doing less, not more. As much as possible, you want the athletes to hide their breathing. And the more they can do that, the more effective they're gonna be at minimizing drag. Hope that was helpful. Look forward to talking again in the next video.